Once again, we've been celebrating innovation and excellence here at the, uh, the PDM event. We've seen some wonderful stand designs, lots of machinery here, working machinery. We've had the quick mold change challenge, which has uh, attracted people off the shop floor to come and uh, partake in this uh, unique challenge where they have to uh, change a mold quickly and safely. Efficiency and time is everything in the industry, especially with mold changes. So the concept is just to put different competitive customers against each other just to see how quick they can do a tool change, replicating what they were doing in production. And the conferences have been packed, uh, both the recycling conference and the, the PDM conference have gone down very well indeed. They switched, they've gone over to cloud computing, they, they tested it out and then within the space of sort of 12 months they flipped the switch. We've had some very high quality speakers, a real mixture actually um, from the injection moulding industry, some from uh, rot rotational moulding, some design speakers. It's, uh, it's been a really sort of good mixture of um, subjects. I was talking about um, basically um, innovation, uh, the fact that the world's a dynamic place, it's constantly changing, people and businesses have to keep up and there's kind of um, questions over the right thing and the wrong thing to do. So I gave some structure to that and I also gave examples from kind of 10 international uh, major brands. Just attended a uh, talk by Scott Crowther from the Warwick Manufacturing Group, uh, which was uh, really insightful about the future of manufacturing and the smart environment. I was trying to hopefully demystify some of the things around it and inspire SMEs as to why they should adopt Industry 4.0 and uh, digital factories in the future. The goals for us for this exhibition are just to promote our new activities. We, we've just launched uh, a large new investment within, within our business, so we just want to inform people and the industry about, about that investment that we put in. Quite a, a number more customers would visit the stand in the morning than we would get round in uh, ordinary circumstances in the course of maybe even a week or two weeks. Uh, so far this morning we've had uh, a couple of useful new inquiries so we're well on our way to achieving our goals for the event. I think for the industry it's excellent, it gives an excellent opportunity for them to come and see the latest technology. Possibly some things they never see in catalogues or the internet. You can actually see in this case uh, a running machine so they can actually appreciate what uh, the options that are available, the performance and actually touch it feel it and see it. Events like this are really important to the industry due to the fact that it gives a showcase for people to be able to publicise what they're doing, to be able to interact with other exhibitors and to show really what's new and innovative in the, uh, in the marketplace. We attended the show before um, and the result uh, uh, is very good so we attend the show every year. Uh, uh, through this show we know it will bring more business to us. We are looking to expand the operations into UK and Europe. So wanted to explore the opportunities basically what, what's going on here in the UK. Events like this are really the best networking opportunity that exists in the UK. We've spoken to plenty of people today, so it's been good. Next year's very exciting proposition for us. We're going to take the show to Manchester. Manchester has an untapped pool of designers we want to go uh, tap into. We're bringing the PDNI brand to Manchester and it'll be PDNI North. So we're just expanding the brand and it should bring some excellent design type organisations to PDM. We're really looking forward to welcoming both the visitors and the exhibitors to Event City in Manchester.